Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we're going to be testing out a blue-white Gandalf control deck in standard best of one. Uh, this is a list I got off on TapGG. It has about a 60% win rate, diamond to mythic rank. I made a couple tweaks. Um, I think it was a little too greedy for best of one, given the fact that like soldiers as well as like mono red are two of the most prominent decks. An early Thalia on the play can really kind of hurt these types of decks, uh, trying to go too big in terms of the scale. But what we're trying out is to basically control the game through a number of sweeper style effects. Uh, so I added in the depopulates. I wanted a sweeper on four. Uh, while you do have White Sun's Twilight, it needs to be able to be cast for seven mana for it to be an effective board wipe. Uh, outside of that, you basically just use it as a life gain and make mites. Uh, kind of effect. So this can be a one-sided sweeper, but you need to get to the mana to do so. Um, Depopulate helps there, a copy of Farewell as in there, and then Eternal Wander can be used in a way as another type of board wipe in, in effect. Um, combine that, we are using the Wandering Emperor to make tokens and be exile removal, a copy of Jaycee to kind of control your opponent's creatures, it provides some card advantage, and a mill wing con. Uh, we're also trying out a Mind Splice Apparatus. This allows us to flash in on our opponent's turn. And then at the beginning of our upkeep, we get to put oil counters on it. And then for each oil counter on it, our uh, spells, instants, and sorceries cost one less to cast. Uh, so this allows us to like use X spells like Syncopate and White, Sun, White Sun's Twilight, Silver Scrutiny at a reduced rate. I just kind of trimmed around these because again, like Thalia hurts these types of cards. I wanted more early interaction, so we added the Fateful Absence. The Laydown Arms is supported by having Rafine's Tower, Spara's Headquarter, and Idyllic Beach as uh, utility dual lands in the deck itself. Um, beyond that, we have uh, Experimental Augury as a way to proliferate and just use an Anticipate. So you can proliferate and put extra counters on your Planeswalkers, you put extra oil counters. Uh, kind of mix with that. If your opponent has a poison counter from these mites, you can also do that there. Uh, so some utility in that sense. Uh, you have a copy of Celestis to kind of loot, provide some life gain, and then a couple copies of Negate mixed in. So we're gonna give this a shot, see how it plays out. Um, basically, we don't really have creatures in this deck, so if our opponent has things like Go for the Throat, stuff like that, while it can hit our tokens that our Planeswalkers create, in and of, of itself, they're kind of dead cards. Um, but we do have access to a number of like sweeper style effects, which helps in these types of matchups. Um, you're going to want to be able to just kind of gain life and then go over the top. Cards we don't necessarily want to see are like uh, Invoke Despair kind of hurt us in this deck while we have some copies of Negate and, and other style effects. Um, so opponents on the play, we have Laydown for an early Thalia, we have Deep Populate, and we have Syncopate also for uh, an early Counterspell. I think this hand's more than reasonable. Um, so I'm going to start with Spar's Headquarters. This could be Esper Legends, which does have a somewhat hard time against a sweeper style effect. Could be Control. I think this turn I'm fine holding up like this. We might just want to use these as uh, sweeper style effects or as cycling style. So I'm going to prioritize getting basic planes because we do have laydown arms. This could be Esper Control. Kaido. This is going to be a matchup where what we kept in terms of our spells wasn't great. So I'm going to do this. I want to keep these to potentially cycle. Okay, so we do see Mind Splice Apparatus. So this is going to give them the advantage of being able to get cost reduction. So there was a consideration to just farewelling here. But I think at this point we're fine. Um, I think we're just going to reset this. 
They can play it again. I maybe should have waited. That was kind of dumb. Could just go farewell here. It's interesting. Oh no, but I lose my Celestis. So we're just gonna do this. Okay, scrutiny is nice because I can do it on their turn after. Um, I think we just get rid of Farewell here. The Celestis will probably provide us more value. I should have waited a turn because I could have caught it on the Syncopate on the way down. That was a little dumb on my part. Um, Sunset Revelry, sure, that gains you some life. Just gonna cycle this now. They don't have double white up right now, so I think it's fine. So we can do this for three and then hold up negate. Um So one, two, one, two, three. Okay, Wandering Emperor is really nice as well as the apparatus. They've shown a number of like planeswalkers that can make tokens. So I think we're gonna hold on to this. These syncopates, we want to get them out earlier because the apparatus is going to give them a cost reduction. Might get rid of one of these lay down. Mm. So I think we let this resolve. because I can just lay down arms the token that they were going to make. Now I bring my samurai, and then now my samurai can uh, deal with this. I think I want to keep a ganjo um, just as another style of like removal spell. We have access to negate, we have access to faithful absence. That's fine. It gave us two bodies. Hmm. I think we just depopulate here. This allows me to put pressure on them, and it requires them to have an answer. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of a ganja. So now we're just going to flip again. So we got Union, which is nice. It'll get me some card draw. So Syncopate always has X2 now. So whatever this number is gives Syncopate a discount. Um, let's do this. Uh, da, 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 do I want to do this? I think we, so I'd have to do it x4, x5.
You know, I think we just let it resolve. We're getting a lot of value just being able to like loot here. Um, get rid of Asparas here. We just need to find like our next Planeswalker. I just want to be able to answer their threats. These Celestis are doing a lot for us right now. Um, if they go Wandering Emperor, I can do X3. So we're still fine because I have the blue mana up. So we'll cycle here. Perfect. Um, I'm going to wait on this. Think we think we maybe hold off on that. Wandering Emperor, I could have Jace. I can do this now. Because if I get a second spell, I can flip again. And then that gives me one more shot to find something. Perfect. So we'll take Wandering Emperor here. I don't necessarily want to make this go out like naked. Maybe they showed Shieldred's Edict. Oh, it negates great. So we're just going to get rid of Laydown Arms. Now we have access. We've already got rid of two sweepers out of them and a Shieldred's Edict. Edict is instant speed. So I imagine their hand's just like a lot of removal. So we'll negate here. Again, I think because they're showing edicts, we'll just continue to build our board presence. Um, I want to go to Knight to flip. So we're just going to pass the turn here. Ooh, White Sun's Twilight is also nice, so we're just going to get rid of Union here. Just try to beat them with Mites this turn, our next turn, because we got seven in the yard, so we could just make a big board here, and then we have Syncopate back up. Hmm... I think that's fine. I want to keep this for like, they're, they're not gaining a huge amount there. So I can do this for 10. So it's eight. And then I have syncopate for a bunch. Oh, does this destroy all other creatures? So it destroys my thing. I thought it was one-sided, but worth noting. So they need a sweeper here, otherwise I just kill them with toxic. One, two, three, 
I can just do this for eights here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Do they need another sweeper here? Okay, they had double farewell. So we forced it out of them, but I now have, like they've used a number of removal spells. Doing this main phase, uh, that might be the Wandering Emperor. I should have done it on the Vigilance one. Yeah. Now we're flooding a bit. We don't need any more lines in play. Okay, so they were Fiend's Tower. They need like double Shelly's Edict here. Okay, so they can't do an additional Wandering Emperor. I think we just get their blocker out of the way. I, I don't have much. Like, I only have the one Celestis, which was actually very good this game. I don't care about the life gain. Okay, so they can exile that. Five, two, so Jace did get hit. How many cards left? 34. I'm doing me because they could have Memory Deluge, which I'd rather they not have. I don't know how many counters we have, if any. Still says I have three Syncopates, but not the case. Okay, White Sun's Twilight. So one, two... One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, eight, nine. Let's do this. Uh, probably just get more action out of Jace. Mind you, we should just try for the the backup mill plan. They're at 32, so that's 12 right now. I only have 12 cards left in my library. Uh, they did have it. So just shrink this down for now. I gotta try to mill them out. So 
Let's go Wandering Emperor here. Okay, so we do not really want to draw cards because we're only at 10. We gained a lot of life in this deck. Should have a minus with Jace. We would have been able to 24. Yep. That's fine. That's Emperor 3, 4. So that's the last Emperor. I know we can blink it, but this just guarantees another kill. I could blink this token then. We just want to control their board. They're going to run out of win conditions eventually. Yeah. So we exile you, plus you, minus you, this can't block now, so we get at least this one out of the way. They can make another copy, but it's Fine, I'm 21ing. Yeah, we just mail them out. Not enough win cons. That was a hell of a game. 23 minutes. Let's try one more, see how it goes. It's hoping to run into aggro decks and get four or five games in, but we shall see. Okay, opponent goes first. We have laydown for an early thing and to depopulate. Hopefully it's aggro. It is Kumano. So, lay down their second threat. Okay, nice chunk of damage coming through here. Do a Fateful for the following turn. So maybe that's what we do this turn. We Fateful and then have lay down arms and augury for the following turn because that lets me double spell next turn because with the augury i need to find another land this might also entice them to play more into the swifts here okay let's see humler So we'll exile the Pummler. We do a Celestis. Can I die next turn? Six. I'm taking six. 
two lightning strikes does it. Okay, what I can do to be safe is just get rid of this. Okay, keep it on top. Hopefully it's just like another creature and they just go like land creature creature and I could depopulate here. Okay, homestead. Homestead, so it's six damage. Okay. Good thing we played that. All right, no aggro threat. We can gain two life if we need to in a pinch. That's actually good. Mind splice apparatus. Don't love it. Double mind splice isn't great. So I can flash this in. Okay, let's just do that. I'm at six life. Needed those line drops. Okay. Still managed to pull it off. Missed some lines. How many lions are in this deck? We saw like that was part of the reason why I wanted to lower my curve. 26. Could be another lion, but I think we just, we kept a little bit of a heavier curve hand, but that's why we play the depopulate. If we didn't have depopulate in that match, we, we were basically dead. We had no answer to their wide board early. The, um, the White Sun's Twilight's good, but it's limited. I think we keep this. Again, we play first. We have access to this. Notably, this can only scale for one right now. Okay, so we'll just kill this. We need a land. Need a land. Perfect. Okay, so this looks like fight rigging. Um, I think we just passed the turn here. Just kill this. And then draw cards. Might have been right to do it the other way. We gain more life, but. Okay, Tyvar's stand. Notable there. So here, we'll just depopulate. The stand is worth acknowledging at least. It is a threat. So I think we just plus here. We'll let them deal with it. So they're going to be like a chunkier gruel. They have at least some number of protection spells. Kodama comes down. Um... Do this, just gain us a bunch of life here. I 
it might have been wrong. Okay, we ended up winning this, but it actually probably wasn't right to make the token there. Because if they had um, Phyrexian Obliterator, they could have fought me. I'd have to sack two things so that I lose a land in my thing. All in all, this deck was like real powerful. Um, you have the tools to grind the control matchups. You saw there we were able to pick apart even through protection spells. A lot of these best of one decks are really interested in just heavily playing to the board. Um, having said all that, like the Celestis was really good in that matchup for us. Even against Mono Red, it helped us just ramp up um, and gain us some life. The White Sun was fine in a two of. I wouldn't play more of it. Silver Scrutiny is a two of is fine. These were okay. And I think like it makes sense to have it. I don't think you necessarily want to go Memory Deluge with just this glut of four drops. Um, the Apparatus, again, just the card as a, as a two of is fine. You don't really want to see more copies um, because it doesn't discount your Planeswalkers um, kind of into that. If you went heavier on this, then I think you want to be on Memory Deluge because Jace can be played for three, but you're also going to be taking some damage to do so. Um, but that's pretty much the deck. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.